It has been way too long since the last time I did a video about my want list and my top holy grail vinyl records. So you can probably guess, or you read the title, that's what this one's about. If you're like me and you have a Discogs want list the size of an encyclopedia, there are a lot of records that you definitely want to add to your collection. Now, some of them are easy and you just wait for them to pop up for 20, 30 bucks, whatever's in your price range. But some, the white whales, the holy grails, those never pop up. Or they do for absurd prices. The records I'm going to tell you about are five records that I've wanted for a very long time, never pop up, or I just don't have the money to afford them. First up, I think it's obvious I'm going to talk about Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam's 20. 20 is the soundtrack to the same title documentary by the famous director Cameron Crowe, who directed amazing projects like Almost Famous, Singles, Say Anything. He's a legend in the industry. A collection of live tracks from various shows from their career. It's an awesome set of music, and I would love to own it on vinyl. Of course, it's out of print. There is a black version that you could probably get for in the 200 range if you get lucky, but there are two rare collector's versions that I need, and they go for a lot of money. The first is a colored version of the album. It comes on red, blue, and green translucent vinyl. It's the same record as the black one. It's just a collector's version, which is something that appeals to me as a big collector and Pearl Jam fan. That version, if you can even find it, goes for easily four or $500. But that's not even the most limited version of this. There are roughly 25 copies that have just a plain white sleeve that say Pearl Jam 20 on the front in almost a stamped font that are glow-in-the-dark vinyl. I don't know who got these. It must have been friends of the band, people that worked in the film. I have genuinely no idea. But this three-disc set of glow-in-the-dark vinyl goes for easily $1,500 if you can even find it. One day, it will be mine. L1011 is one of my all-time favorite post-rock bands. It's two guys, a guy that plays guitar, a guy that plays drums, but they're masters of their instruments and they play double neck guitars and huge drum kits and they work with loops and make the most interesting, beautiful, fun, powerful music. I love their entire catalog. I own all of it on vinyl except for one of their albums. This album is called These Promises Are Being Videotaped. There was a small run of them, I believe 350 total, 300 are hand numbered and 50 of them have hand-drawn covers. So every single cover of those is completely different. I've never seen either of them pop up for sale on Discogs. If they have, I'd miss them because I would have bought them in a heartbeat. It is a gaping hole in my L1011 collection and it needs to be filled soon. Hopefully there's a repress, I doubt it. I would love to get one of those hand-drawn covers. I think that would be a nice linchpin to kind of put the whole collection together. In the past, this is sold for easily triple digits in the hundreds. I might pay it for one of the hand-drawn ones. I don't know, call me crazy. Illuvium is one of my favorite modern classical ambient artists. I've talked about him quite a bit on the channel and he has two box sets out. They're both called Life Through Bombardment and it's volume one and volume two. I was lucky enough to grab the volume two on the temporary resonance page when it went up for sale. Now it's sold out, but volume one is probably better musically and something that I'm much more interested in and I'll never get it for a good price. This contains his first six albums in this beautiful deluxe package. It looks like this giant book. Let me just show you what the second looks like. Volume one looks a lot like this, except it has different records and different art. So it has this awesome big thick book and you open it up and there's a library card inside that's signed by the artist. And each page has different art with it and contains a different album from his discography. His first six albums are excellent and Having this collection of them, some of which have never been on vinyl before, is a dream to me. I've never seen this for less than 350, usually much higher. I'm really sad I missed it when it went on sale. I didn't even know about it until it was too late. So I'm glad I got volume two, but it's sitting on my shelf and missing volume one. Next up is a three disc set, Samurai Champloo, The Way of the Samurai. I believe I've talked about this in a couple of videos before, and that's because the majority of the soundtrack was done by my all time favorite hip hop producer, New Jabez passed away in a car accident, way too young, super tragic. And his music has left an amazing legacy on hip hop, jazz, whatever you may call him, he fuses both flawlessly. And this was an anime soundtrack that he did. I owned this soundtrack once upon a time for a very good price. I owned it for $25 because I found it at a flea market, probably missing a zero at the end of that price tag. I stupidly sold it when I needed money for something forget what it was. I must have sold it for $120 maybe. There are a couple colored variants of this, but any of them, black, colored, whatever it may be, you're looking to spend easily two, 250 if not more. I haven't had the heart to grab it yet. I'm hoping for a repress, but 
I'm really sad I sold it. I don't know what was going through my mind. That's probably my biggest regret in selling records at all for my collection. I love New Job Is. I'm trying to get everything I can from him on physical media. I have a couple 7 inches, a couple 12 inches, but this is something I need to re-add to my collection ASAP. So hopefully I find it in the wild again. I'd probably pay what I sold it for. I don't know if I want to jump up to that 200 range yet, but I'm getting close. So cross your fingers for a repress. Check out this awesome jazzy instrumental hip hop soundtrack and you will love it. And finally, there's a box set that I've never seen in person. I've only heard it exists and seen pictures on Discogs. The name of the box set makes me cringe a little bit. It's called Final Fantasy Vinyls. <laughs> That's literally what's printed on the front of it. As everyone knows, vinyls is not the plural of vinyl. Vinyl is the plural of vinyl, and a lot of vinyl people get really up in arms about that. So the fact that one of my most wanted records actually just says vinyls on the front of it uh, hurts me a little bit, but it's exactly what it sounds. It's a box set of five discs of Final Fantasy music across all the different games. This is such a beautifully put together set. It was, I think, only sold from Japan overseas. I didn't even know it existed. I think it was sold back in 2012 or 13. By now, if you can find it online, you're gonna be dropping at least 450 for it. Final Fantasy is one of my all-time favorite game series and it's larger part because of the music. I would really trade a lot for it. So if you know anyone that has it, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep trolling Discogs and hope one pops up for a decent price. Those are five of the many. I have over 1,500 records on my want list. A lot of these are high profile, crazy price records. So I will do more videos about my want list if you guys wanna hear about my holy grails. But now, I wanna hear about your holy grails. Make sure you leave a comment and let me know what records you've always wanted. I'm not talking about those 30, 40 dollar ones. The ones that are way in the distance that you're gonna to have to get super lucky to get. Thank you to our sponsor for this video, Vinyl Moon, the record club that makes you fall in love with at least one new band every single month. I'll leave a link for them in the description. Thanks for watching guys, if you like, Give this a thumbs up or send me one of those records I just talked about. Subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.